Hi all, Kraken Latte here. It's that time of the expansion that some of you may be familiar with, the content drought. This typically occurs not long after the last patch of an expansion and often lasts up until the pre-patch of the next one. This is usually when there is no more new stuff being added and the game goes into a lull, content-wise, until the new one is released. Many players tend to hate this period of time, but I actually like it. I look forward to it even. I've been asked quite frequently to cover what I do during content droughts, what I do to prepare for pre-patches, as well as what my routine is. For me, they all go hand in hand, so let's look at why. But first, let's give a warm welcome to my newest patrons. Apologies in advance on pronunciations. Thassos Vogsley, Nathan, and Kurabara. Thank you so much for your support, and welcome to the Kraken Crew! Alright, let's get into it. First order of business, my routine. This takes some explaining. Throughout the expansion, I tend to play things by ear. I go after what looks interesting and choose to grind out the things I want when I see them if I want them badly enough. I RP along the way and get what I want when it comes to me. It's for this reason that I have to admit to you, I don't have a routine. Not really anyways. My routines, if you could call them that, change based on what I'm currently working on and interested in at the time. They can even change daily depending on my mood. Instead of a routinistic approach, rather I have a big list of goals and desires that I eventually want to complete, and pick one from time to time based on what strikes my fancy when I'm looking at it. It could be a mount, it could be rep, it could be leveling a new alt. I like to take things one step at a time. Most plainly put, I do what I want, when I want. And if I don't want to do something, I don't do it. Radical thinking, I know. So, next topic. Content droughts. Most simply put, I look forward to content droughts, as this is the time I can use to catch up on things I haven't gotten around to. This is when I become more focused in my gameplay, and get more into the grinds I likely wasn't interested in during the bulk of the expansion. Since I've retired from competitive play, I prefer to spend my time in RP, and I like to do things that involve collecting. One of the main things I love about World of Warcraft is its lore and its stories, which are all fed to us throughout the expansion, and I like to go through those when they're current. That means when the content drought is in season, I can go full-on collector mode and attack that wildly long to-do list I drafted during the expansion which now consists of everything I want to accomplish before the pre-patch. See why those topics are so interconnected for me? Let's dig a little deeper for you all and go through this together. In this almighty running list, current expansion things are top priority. I like to experience stuff when it's happening, so I try to make sure current things are taken care of first. This is when I'm closely watching news posts on what content will be removed or much harder to do after pre-patch releases. That way I'm not missing out on anything. Prep for the pre-patch is at a close second on this list, but I also include older things that I may not have finished as well from previous expansions. Let's look at some examples of what keeps me so busy during this period in a sort of step-by-step -step manner. First and foremost, story content. I try to make sure I've experienced all the story that the expansion has to offer. This means I make sure I've done every quest in every zone on my main, and that I've done every raid at least once to see the story and cinematics. And I also complete all the non-zone specific storylines that usually span over the entire expansion if I haven't done so already. After that, I get all the reputations completed, at least on my main since various collectibles are locked behind those. The best part is by focusing on the quests and storylines first, the rep is often close to being complete, without even trying. And with the reps maxed, now I have access to each one's quartermasters, which lets me buy any pets, toys, mounts, mog, and whatever else they might have. This is when I also begin to look at what collectibles, in the form of pets, toys, and mounts, that I'm still missing from the current expansion. Oftentimes it's stuff from rares that I haven't killed, or specific grinds that I have to go get. Gold sink mounts are included in this portion too. I also try to make sure any alts I want to dig right into the next expansion with are leveled and have a good enough set of gear, usually in the form of world quests or 
the latest account-wide alt catch-up stuff. Since I'm on RP, the stories I'm currently invested in with my bestie majorly influence this. Her and I also like to sit down and plan out what we want to do in the future with current characters, as well as making new ones in the process. We don't hold back on creativity. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? And tied to my alts are professions. With everything I already talked about at least semi taken care of, this is when I begin to focus on this part. Since I have numerous alts, I have certain characters dedicated to each profession. I make sure all of those are leveled, and that I've collected every recipe I can reasonably get my hands on that doesn't include reputation. I don't like grinding rep more than once. If I manage to get all that done and I still have time before the pre-patch, this is when I shift to more superficial things. This is when I begin to work on each character's mog sets. I begin to fill out their TRP profiles, figure out what mounts I want them to use if they're new, and stuff like that. While it is my silent goal to collect every bit of moggable gear in the game, I know this is a monumental task, far more so than mounts or pets, so I just let this happen naturally when I do mog runs to create sets for my characters. And just to point out, much how I've talked about my routine at the beginning, I don't entirely do all these things in a set order. Oftentimes, I bounce between subjects based on interest, unless there's something I'm really pressed on time for, like things being removed with the pre-patch. I also try to fully make use of any gold-making niches I feel likely won't be sticking around in the next expansion, much like the garrison gold missions of Warlords, the Legion follower equipment, and the emissaries and paragon caches of BFA. I use that gold, which I farmed during the content drought and not before, to buy any gold sink collectibles. So there we go. That's how my routines, the content drought, and the pre-patch prep all tie together for me. Hopefully that satisfies you at least a little bit. And if you have any hyper-specific questions on the topics I've covered in this video, ask me in the comments and I'll see if I can answer. I hope that all of this explains why I've not done a routine video specifically until now, since I seem to play rather different than most folks. As always, thank you so much for watching! If you have some neat tips or feel like I missed something on this topic, share down below! If you want to see more of me in freeform, unscripted action, check me out on my gaming channel of Latte and Tea. The link for that is in the description. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content. And remember, it's never too Latte!